Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Well, I don't know if it's going to be quick, but it's a reading, right? Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's happening for the Aquarius right now in love. What are the love messages? Where is Aquarius with love right now? Where is Aquarius right now? Okay. Okay, so we got the death card. So some of you have liberated yourself from a relationship. And then the seven of cups. So we got heavy Scorpio energy. So some of you are going through that really deep transformative change. Some of you really ending of a relationship. This is the death of it. It's been dying slow, but this could be the final dance here. You could finally be done with the particular person, place, thing, energy. Just, well, this is love. So you could be done with a particular relationship or a person here. You're going through that really uh, transformative, scorpionic, deep soul, emotional healing. You're really seeing something clearly. It's like you're coming out of the dark into the light. Maybe that somebody was keeping you as an option with the seven of cups or that someone will say anything, will, you know, attempt to do anything to manipulate the energy or your emotions. You may even be finding out that you are dealing with or you have been dealing with um, a cheating spouse or a boyfriend or girlfriend, someone who has just been, you know, blowing smoke up your ass. Every time you ask about this person or that or that situation, it's been lie after lie. It has been manipulating your emotions. It's, it's might even been be that uh, someone was keeping you stuck purposely. You know, in, in confusion, in emotional confusion, you don't make a decision. You're confused. So you kind of stay still. So it's like an energy of someone who's keeping you stuck or stagnant or keeping a relationship stuck or stagnant. Somebody was using all types of, um, you know, the good word play. These, these people or this person was saying anything, you know, just to keep you. And they didn't even bother to remember the lies or the half truths. It was like you can come back in an hour and ask them about the, you know that certain thing, and it will just be a completely different answer. This might even be somebody who has uh, I heard multiple personality disorder, or they have something going on with them. They may even have different familiars with them. So spirits that speak to them through them. Um, they have a very confusing energy about them or you know they have a very confusing spirit and that might be something working with them yeah all right so what is the advice for aquarius in love what is the advice advice the six of wands go your own way stretch your stuff go the other way um promote yourself take the high road though you know, when they go low, we go away. No, uh, we go high um, or away. But, you know, the Six of Wands, it talks about going the other way, the opposite way, taking the high ground or the high road. It talks about n knowing your worth, strutting off, winning the battle, maybe not the war, but definitely the battle by not engaging. Because before the Six of Wands, we got the Five of Wands, of course, 
And that is the fight. That is the energetic fight, you know, trying to um, get someone's attention and, you know, fighting for your position or fighting for what you want. But it says the advice here is the six of wands. Don't fight. Move. Make the choice because, you know, the six is about a choice. Make the choice to have peace, balance, serenity elsewhere by walking off high road here. Yeah. Uh, do we have anything else to offer Aquarius and advice for love? Okay. Yeah. Ten of wands. So we've got wands showing up. It's all about doing something, you know, making something happen here. Um, the advice here, clarifying the, the 10 of wands, clarifying the six of wands. It just talks about maybe this was karmic. Um, yeah, this is a, like a karmic energy. You had to learn a lesson. You've learned it. Uh, you were taken for granted. Uh, or you took someone else for granted. This can always be, you know, the other way around. Um, you were just engaging in a relationship that was going nowhere fast. It was almost as if it was going in circles or you didn't know where it was going. You are or were the only one carrying the weight of the relationship, doing things to keep the relationship together. It was kind of like you are or you were on autopilot, just showing up, not knowing what today would bring or if there would be change. Um, typically, the Ten of Wands has a man with all the staffs or the wands on his back. He's so hunched over, he can't really see where he's going. He's just walking with all these wands. And that was kind of like the nature of the relationship. It was just more so you just showing up for the, the connection. Like, well, you know, if it changes, it changes. I hope it changes. You know, I'll continue to do stuff. I'll continue to make plans in a relationship. I'll continue to pay for it. I'll continue to call. I'll continue to reach out. I'll continue to forgive. It was just more so you doing all of the work. And this person allowed you to do it. Um, maybe even making you the scapegoat at times, maybe making you the problem, um, of, co of course, being taken for granted. This was a heavy load to carry. And the advice here is, is telling you that if you pick this back up, this is what it will be. This person will put all of the weight of the relationship on you. They don't have any problem doing it. All right, so the person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for, let's talk about that. What's going on with this person? What does this person want to say to Aquarius? The Nine of Wands. Okay, so we got more wands showing up. So we could definitely be dealing with a fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This relationship definitely could have been karmic. One that got started without real intentions. You know, a lot of times it's the karma that we create for ourselves when we are not intentional in everything that we do. Uh, when we just engage in things, we, we typically get to the Ten of Wands where we're just showing up for it. It's like you get a job, right? And you, you work the job. There's so much promise in the job initially, but you go into working this job with no real plan, no intention. You just keep showing up. And then you find yourself 10 years down the line, still in the same place, maybe have not been promoted. Maybe you got one or two raises. They aren't that great, but you went into this job with no real intentions. Therefore, if you don't have a plan, if you don't intend to do, um, yeah, if you don't have a plan, if you, if you don't intend to do, then, you know, you're going to get just that you didn't intend to do. You don't have a plan. So that's how some of you showed up in the, in this relationship. And that maybe that's why it was karmic. A lot of times it happens when you meet people and you have that initial conversation, like, what are you looking for? Well, what are you looking for? And both of you are like, well, you know, just a friend and you know, nothing to be, you know, okay. And that's what it's going to be. But if you know that you want to be married, if you want a family, if you want a husband or if you want a wife, say that initially. And be intentional about where you put your energy, effort, time into. Because if you're going to be like that person that just shows up to the job on day one with no plans and no intentions, you'll find yourself in that same spot 10 years, 10 months down the road. And for some of you, that's how you showed up in this relationship. Just, well, I don't know, you know, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, you know, and then now it's like, oh, I'm in love, but this person doesn't want to love me. Oh, they're toxic. Oh, they're karmic. Come on. That's not how the relationship started. So 
we're gonna have to take some responsibility some onus here and uh start being intentional you know god of the universe wants us to be intentional in everything that we do so anyway um your person is showing up as the nine of wands so they could be taking a step back what they want to say to you nine of wands they they're, they're walking away from this they're not sure if they should fight for it or leave it alone it's just been a real up and down roller coaster of a relationship um they're not sure if they're ready for intimacy that's just vulnerability closeness um they're not sure if they want that um therefore they do take breaks it could have been ghosting this person could be watching you watching your social media um yeah having other people watch you just spying on you all together they're still around in your energy they feel like they can pounce or they can leave they can go they also feel like maybe this could be the end the beginning of the end you know um at times they can feel like they want to fight for this or fight for the relationship you know or they feel like they got wounded maybe by trusting you or trusting the relationship okay let's see what else does your person want to say to you aquarius you have the ace of pentacles it's like they want to offer you something they're looking for the opportunity the opportunity for for growth for something to grow they could also want to have sex with you it talks about getting physical you know um the ace of pentacles they want to give you something or they want they feel like being with you is lucky you know um they could something about you there's a very energetic high energy high positivity to where things work out well for them or they feel better they're more healthier in terms of maybe you diet and you know eating habits and even emotional health and mental health it's like they're looking towards you or for you or to you to get some type to have the opportunity to grow grow in the right direction it's like maybe they what is this ace of pentacles they could want to offer you something I don't know. queen of swords they want the opportunity to maybe make something right but they feel like your back is turned towards them or you cut them off or you cut them out like you've gone away you know you're you're done or you're done away with it or you won't give them the time of day or you won't talk to them you're over it they feel like you feel like you're manifesting something new that you're over you understand that you don't want this oldness or you won't take what what they're offering what is this person what are they really trying to say to the aquarius the five of pentacles so they feel like they don't have enough either they feel like they don't have enough or that you're not going to accept them they just feel lack they feel lack of confidence in moving forward and they may even feel like they got used or taken for granted or they know that they used you or took you for granted yeah um they don't like the fact that you're ignoring them or not acknowledging them or you're not giving the give, giving them the attention you used to give they feel like yeah this is you know unfortunate and unfortunate breakup maybe you've withdrawn yourself withdrawn your energy you've changed that's what they want to tell you they know that you've changed you've withdrawn what else do they want to tell you the nine of swords so lots of swords here no it was wands. um so they want to tell you that they're hurt or they're hurting or they they've been hurting they're in pain they could be in physical pain they could be getting the karma getting karma for hurting you for taking advantage they can't cope with the fact that it's over or it's done or what they, they're thinking about or replaying what you said or what you did or some event that happened between the two of you they're trying to 
you know, I don't know, that be the victim here. It's an energy of, you know, collapse. They're trying to hold on and wait. They hope that you come back. They want you to take them out of this dark place. They want you to change your mind. What else does this person want to say? Yeah, justice. They want to do right or they want to make the right choice. They hope that you decide on them. And you decide to allow them back. Something about do right. You know, do right. Do the right thing. Repayment of debt or karma or karmic debt. Somebody feels indebted to you. Someone feels like they need to come and talk to you, apologize to you, to give you something so that they can get out of this very toxic, negative, low vibrational, dark space. And they feel like only you can bring them out of that. What is the advice for Aquarius moving forward? What, is, what does Aquarius want to tell this person? What does, in case the cross watcher is watching, what does Aquarius want to tell this person? Um, Eight of Cups. Aquarius may be saying, look, they're on the Aquarius is saying, I'm on my own journey. I've walked away this. I've done the self analysis. This relationship was a cycle. It put me in a disadvantage or at a disadvantage. You know, there's disappointment. Um, Aquarius can be saying they're on, they're on their own spiritual journey. They need to do this for themselves, by themselves. Somebody took their power back. The Aquarius could be saying, I took my power back. I've withdrawn my, my energy, my emotions. Um, I need to heal. I need to go on a spiritual retreat. What is, what else is the Aquarius saying? The Aquarius saying to this person, eight of pentacles. Okay. Uh, yeah, Aquarius is putting a lot of energy effort into themselves, their business, the business of them working on something, practicing something day in, day out, doing something over and over. They're trying to get something to a place of sustainability, um, self-sustainability. Um, Aquarius is learning, learning about Aquarius, learning about life, learning about relationships, learning about vulnerability, all of that. Aquarius is trying to get maybe a large sum of money or you know, get, have some, uh, reservoir or reserves. Okay. Um, so the Aquarius is really focused on the Aquarius. What else does this person, what else does the Aquarius want to tell their person? The two of pentacles, there's a lot going on in the Aquarius life right now. And uh, things are up in the air. A decision about this relationship is still up in the air. Nothing has been decided. Aquarius is working really hard. Um, Aquarius could be transferring money, looking at the profit and the loss of things, making sure that things make sense in terms of finances. Aquarius is looking at what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis every single day, making sure that, you know, again, the two represents income, earn income, making sure that Aquarius is good in terms of, mon you know, money monetarily. The eight and the two of pentacles that equals 10 of pentacles is like the Aquarius is working towards long-term goal, uh, long-term long stability, uh, recognition, expertise in their uh, field. It looks like the, the Aquarius wants to tell this person, I'm working towards me, money, stability, and, you know, and just that I'm not really focused on this love relationship because it's not offering anything different. It's not adding any value. And that's why Aquarius came out as the queen of swords for the other person. Cause it's like it, the queen of swords acts, does this add value or not? You know, and that's, you know, she starts to yield that sword and cut things off and cut it out. And maybe that's why you're coming up as that as a queen of swords to this person, because it's like, you know, you're in a place of, you need things to be, you know, um, mutually beneficial. Let's see where this person is. Let's pull some butterfly oracles. Can you, can you tell us about this person's spirit? What is, what's going on with this person that, um, Aquarius is coming to the reading for that is coming through in the reading. Can you tell us about this person? Okay. 
Yeah, that so your person needs to do some healing work. I don't think this healing has anything to do with you. They need to heal from the past and they need to keep the faith. They need to get some faith. You know, they may just believe in them and them solely. You know, spirituality is, you know, a very small part of their life, you know, if if at all. Or they don't really rely on spirituality too much. Um this person is trying to keep the faith in terms of the relationship with you, maybe even with themselves. Um, somebody feels they need your vibration. They need that healing vibration also. What else is going on with this person? One more card for what's going on with Aquarius person. Adult children. I heard it. I heard clearly they act like a child. Adult children. So this person acts like a child. They need to grow up. Um, they may be an adult, but they act very childish. Uh, maybe they lean on their parents a lot, uh, help from parents, um, or they just haven't grown up. They haven't made any real milestone in life that puts them at a level of maturity that they should be in. Um, so this would be a person who hasn't been married before. They don't have children. Um or they didn't take it serious or they just didn't really make the transition into, you know, full on adulthood or maturity here. You know, it's just more so they, they're extremely immature. They're an adult child, a man child, a woman child, whatever. They just they haven't grown up. What is going on with the Aquarius? Sobriety. So Aquarius is seeing something, um, completely different you know um they've come into a place of sober thinking maybe even sober living but definitely coming out of the fog in terms of this person because we have the seven of cups initially so this person was casting illusion casting emotional illusion in terms of you know trying to keep you stuck they weren't uh, so they knew they didn't have much to offer outside of this you know the word play sex whatever so that's what they used and maybe you you fell for it or you allowed yourself to fall for it aquarius but now you come into a level of sobriety yeah so aquarius is going through the grief work there are five stages to grief you know grief um i don't know which stage you're at but it, you know you could be going through grieving this relationship letting it go understanding that um it is what it is. It could be a loss for you. You know, maybe the relationship had or has great potential, but you can't keep doing all the work. We had the 10 of wands come out. So you're grieving it. You're like, you know, I really have to let this go. Maybe you're going to therapist, counselor, I don't know, tarot readings. I don't know. What else is going on with Aquarius? finances is not oh and we have the we have the eight of pencils and the two of pencils. Aquarius is worried about money like um okay so it's like your finances could be good uh they could be great they could be not so great but either wherever you fall in the spectrum or on the spectrum you're concerned about your finances you're not concerned about this love um this love uh relationship for the both of you this relationship offered you spiritual growth maybe meeting this person aquarius pushed you to spirituality the relationship was so bad it was so horrible it was so hurtful that you had to look for answers in spirituality and maybe a person did too or maybe you already were a spiritual person and you brought them into spirituality this also could signify that this was a karmic relationship karmic just means it's lesson lesson to be learned so maybe that you need to learn something here in terms of meeting this person um you need to learn something about self so it's not about other people but it's more so about self why did i attract this you know so asking questions like that um yeah that's where you guys are let's see let's see what is going on in the future for this relationship what is happening in the future for the aquarius one more shuffle future energy what 
Ooh, okay, Aquarius. So you go from despair to sudden wealth. I see that because you had two eights. So eight, 88 could be significant for you. Um, but it's like you're trying to break out of the cycle, you know? Um, and so you're coming from, from a place of being in despair to suddenly having all that you are manifesting, sudden wealth. That could be money. That could be love. Whatever it is you really want, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. It's like you are just, you're really um, coming out of that place of, you know, grief work, doing, going through the grieving process to now feeling, you know, abundant, having more than enough love for self firstly, and then love for others so that you can give love accurately and not from a place of depletion. All right. Um, okay. What is the future energy? What is the future energy for Aquarius family room? So you're going to be in some different circles. You know, you could even be marrying into a family. You're going to be brought into something, some different arena in your life, different area, different groups of people. You'd be doing something different. You've created something. Maybe some of you are going to create a family. Let's see. This person could be coming up as false, you know, um, hiding, hiding in the shadows. You see, they're coming up as that eight. So it's like they're coming up as maybe karma or karmic. Yeah, they want you to hear them out, judication and community. They could even be talking about you to other people that know you or people who share you. I don't know. You share mutual friends or people or Facebook friends. I don't know. They could just be, um, wanting to get their side out about something. They want, they want everybody to know their side. They're sp spreading rumors, lies about you. They're just telling outright lies. They could also be spying. This could be someone who's spying. They could be expecting for you to come back or expecting your energy or expecting a, new, uh, a turnaround. Yeah. Maybe expecting you to reach out to them by the next holiday or birthday or something like that. Again, another eight. This person is, um, they could be expecting a gift from you. Yeah, they, they want the relationship back. Because you brought some type of positive vibration. They could want to marry you. We did see the Ace of Pentacles. Want and do are two different things. So I, I could, I want a Bentley. But will I go and do the work to get the Bentley? To afford the Bentley? So want and do are two different things. So I know you have to really maybe get a personal reading or really kind of be honest with yourself in terms of do you really feel as if your person will do want and do are two different things so um yeah they can want to marry you got marriage coming up they can want to keep you stuck too so this would be a person who would say i want to marry you i'm, I'm gonna marry you and those words keep you in the energy of oh my god they really love me they want to marry me but they never present a ring. If they do present a ring. They never present a date. It's the longest engagement ever. This is somebody. I don't know. Watch out for this. Um, where is Aquarius energetically? Some of you could be manifesting a new relationship that will turn into marriage. So that's really good. Also, we can look at it that way. But also keep in mind that there could be, you know, this false person coming back and trying to keep you stuck. Where is Aquarius energetically? Where is the Aquarius collective? Okay. The shield maiden making plans and focus. That's what I'm talking about, Aquarius. All right. So it's just like you got plans. You got things in the works. You're making plans and you're staying focused and you're not letting anybody come in and move you off your square because you're trying to manifest something new. Um, finances, better finances. You're just really trying to manifest a new life. Let's see what, what else is going on. Mountains. You're trying to move mountains. Stand your ground. We just said that. So some of you are just really like these people coming in and trying to really shake you and move you and think about love and do this and do that and 
uh, I want to take you out and I want to do this and do that. You, you're, you're going to be like a mountain unmovable, you know, um, stand your ground. If it's not what it is you say you want, don't move for it. If you know you want to be married, but this person is talking about, well, let me just take you out for drinks. And you've known them for years, like dude or, or one, we're not getting married. Just leave it alone. Leave me alone. You know, stand your ground in terms of not going in circles with certain people. Cause this, it looks like there's an energy who will take you in, in, in circles if you allow them. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. High priest is very much, yeah, harness your, your mystical power. So some of you are really um, good. Um, okay. I heard good magician, uh, magicians. Let me get a lot of downloads from spirit. Some of you do a lot of meditation or you just get, um, some of you have a, you know, ancestry or some type of ties to Egypt, uh, Mesopotamia, um, something about, you know, past life. Some of you are very intuitive. You know, stuff before it actually happens. You can pick up on vibrations really good. Some of you own a black cat or you want a black cat. I don't know. Um, you are the high priestess. You already know that somebody's in a certain energy. Um, you, your dreams could be vivid right now. You're coming off as mysterious, but very alluring, seductive, sexy, desirable to many. You could, you're going to be very attractive to a lot of different people. My masculine energy warrior, you're being fearless and, and you're standing strong in the face of adversity, especially if somebody is trying to defame you or defame your name or talk bad about you or that's, it, this is a really good energy Aquarius. Let's see where else, um, let's see what the love messages are for Aquarius. And then we'll close out. Let's see. Um, okay, harmony is pure love. For love is pure agreement. So you make sure that when you are dating or you get someone new that you guys are in harmony. So you're on the same wavelength. You're um, in the same tune or frequency. You want the same thing. And that you guys are in complete agreement. You know, it doesn't mean that you, you like it the same things you're going to do the same things in each and every day but it just means that your souls are in agreement take the the road of least resistance if you're finding that you have to it's a tug of war with someone you have to pull them along you have to manipulate you have to argue you have to cry you have to do all you know all the theatrics that's not agreement that you're not in agreement with that or they're not in agreement with you so leave it leave it be um, let's see what else love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you so again what we talked about earlier giving yourself enough love so that you're not loving from a place of depletion you can't give what you don't have so love you first put you first take yourself out to eat to drink make sure you're doing your hair or dressing up as you deem nice everybody's different you know um but you can't want someone to do what you don't do for yourself. You know, you can't say, oh, I want a guy or a girl to really cherish me. You wear dirty clothes and barely brush your teeth every day. Like it just, that's not an agreement. That's opposition. You, you don't love you, you know, or you're not showing it. You're not in a very, you know, presentable manner. So make sure you're taking time to show yourself love. So other people can say, you know what? That person gives themselves a lot of love. I'm ready to give them some too, right? Um, okay, these cards flew out of the deck. Okay, so let things come and go. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and care. So we saw that too, that we're going to have some people come back who are trying to take you off your focus, but you're the shield maiden. You're not letting anybody take you off your plan or your focus. So we got people coming in Decepticons to try to, you know, look over here. Don't look over there and just try to get you off course. 
okay and the reason it hurts so much to separate is because your souls are connected so you're connected to those that you love there could be a soul tie soul connection soul mate here just because it hurts doesn't mean you need to go backwards you need to go through feel the hurt feel the burn like when you go work out you feel the burn but you keep working out you don't just leave as soon as it starts hurting maybe some of you do i don't know um but you feel it and then go through it some of you are staying with people because you don't want to feel the hurt you need to identify that too and it says where does the power come from it comes from within so if you don't have any power take your power back how do you do that everybody says that taking your power back okay so when you give 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 to something anything person place or thing and it doesn't give back there's nothing in return then you become powerless because you're giving you're exerting energy and nothing is restoring you nothing you're not getting any type of reciprocation right so you could have been doing that in a relationship where you were just giving 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 and so then you felt powerless so it says take your power back how do you do that by stop the giving do complete 180 turn it around don't give anymore and you'll start to see your reserve or your power return to you okay um can't make it up it says start reclaiming who you truly are and that's all that taking your power back is stop giving to stuff that does not reciprocate because you will get burned out i know people say oh no i won't i'll just keep loving them keep on you know whatever but um you know you're not a robot we're people you can't just keep dispersing and getting nothing back you're going to break down or want to break out uh, and at the bottom of the deck they want you to know in the end you tried and you cared and sometimes that's enough some of you are concerned about is this person going to be hurt or are they hurting because you know um i left them or i'm not talking to them or whatever in the end you tried and you cared and that is enough that is enough stop giving that is enough it's done so that's what i have for you aquarius i hope that it resonates for you let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website and book your own reading there let me know what part resonated for you was it the giving and receiving nothing in return was it the fact that your person needs to heal from the past and it has nothing to do with you was it the fact that you're all about your money right now and this person could be all about trying to get back and get your energy and getting your energy and confuse you let me know what part resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time um that's what i have for you aquarius have a really good weekend